Christmas time, Christmas time, Christmas time, Christmas time. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you back. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're new, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe. On this channel, I just do my personal vlogs and most importantly, I do my life experiences here in Germany. Guys, it's been so, so long, but I'm back because life was calling on the other side. <laughs> but thank you for sticking around. Thank you for all the new subscribers. So uh, just in case you've not checked the subject today, I'm going to be talking about uh, German Christmas. <laughs> or rather how it's celebrated here in germany because definitely it's going to be different the way we do it in zambia and the way they do it here in germany so first and foremost christmas here is so typical like it's celebrated by everyone maybe just a few percent but then it's like you feel you feel the mood you feel there's this there's this feeling because the decoration here in germany is exaggerated or rather it's done in a way that i love because i love christmas i know the meaning of christmas <laughs> so there is so much decorations all the streets you'll be going it's full of light it's full of father christmas you just have this feeling there is so much like there is so much light like the neighbors the houses they all have something like in their balconies or rather on their windows so it's not everyone but 90 percent do that and i for one do that because i really love it so that's one thing that you should know decoration is so much like it's so much that i love the second thing that you should also know is that there's this thing called Christmas market. Please, if you didn't check my other videos, please, I'll leave uh, a link in my description. You can check it out. So Christmas market is an activity that you also want to do because you can go like after work, you can go with your friends or maybe after school there, you can have like food, warm food, all types of food, there are sweets. And also like for kids, they can also like play their like, um, HP plus like a, a playing area where they can play it's so so nice and the other thing that you want to test that you don't want to miss is the glue vine glue vine is so typical it's uh, warm wine it also comes in different cups depending on which city you are in so there's like a glass it comes also maybe in a mug cup or maybe like um, a sock kind of mug cup I'll leave a picture here. So it's so wonderful. This is one thing that you don't want to miss whenever you go to the Christmas market. <laughs> the second thing that Germans do that I learned that we never used to do back home also was the Advent candles. It's something that looks like uh, this though. I don't, I, I, I'm not so aware of it. Like this year, I, I had so much things to want to study so i didn't make it it looks like this but there, there are different kind of uh, candles that you can make some you can just buy it like this one others you can buy it like already made i'll leave all the pictures so that you can see what i mean and then you light it up in every week like the first week of december until the week before christmas so last week sunday was the last candle which was lighting up there are four candles you light it up every sunday every sunday every sunday until they are full so that is this burning burn burn <laughs> i don't know what it is but i also do it <laughs> yeah so that is one thing that you should also know they do advent uh, advent candles or advent i don't know i'm not so sure but i do so the other thing that they also do, they have like um, advent calendars. Advent calendars are like, it's it's a big box. Then it has got like small doughs. Those small doughs, yeah, they've got sweets or maybe they have got toys or anything like that. I, for one, I'll show you a picture here. But this year I didn't get any because I'm trying to reduce on sweets. Yeah, so because of my stomach. <laughs> which people say is not there but yeah <laughs> yeah so like usually it's sweets like 90 percent of the advent uh, calendars come in sweets form 
so it's like you'll be opening it like every day until the 24th of december so which is a very good thing because you'll be it's like a countdown yeah like counting down to christmas i never had it in zambia and it's something that i started doing here and there are also some people who also like make on their own like homemade like they, they just put like they wrap up uh small presents then they put days and each day you open like one it's a very good thing especially for kids because kids i feel like they really love sweets why not the other thing that they celebrate is on the 60th of december there is something that they call uh, saint nicholas saint nicholas i didn't know about it <laughs> regardless of me being catholic we have so many saints but saint nicholas i didn't know about it they do it here it's like it's mostly for kids because they leave like a boat they leave it outside the door and then they believe the father christmas or rather saint nicholas who live in sweets so i at least i have this one it looks like this this is what um represents saint nicholas they believe he also looks like father christmas and these are the kind of sweets that they leave uh chocolates or rather that they leave on their door for the kids but actually i'm not a good fan of sweets maybe because from the time i was young i never used to eat so many sweets so i'm not used to sweets i eat them but i'm not so a big fan so i really don't even celebrate it but yeah it's done on the 60th of december so be aware if you've got kids buy for them those sweets if you're here <laughs> then the other thing is here the christmas is mostly on the 24th of uh, december so this is when like uh, let's say parents and their kids they celebrate the day and then like on the 25th it's a holiday and the 26th it is the holiday but these are the days where like they extend it to the families uh like the or the grandmothers or the grandfathers or the uncles but anyway it's totally different with how you're brought up or rather the different cities or homes it's not everyone who does that but there are some who just like come together everyone on the same day on the 24th and there are some who just do like on the 24th they just like with a very close family and then on the 25th they extend it to others for us it was different i remember on the 25th is where like we meet with the uncles the cousins the nieces the nephews you know what i mean when i say this in africa it's like a big family comes together maybe we have a bride or maybe we just have a party listen to music or anything like that so yeah so this is what they do and i also noticed like there was one time i was the time i was living with my host parents who used to go like to church and then we come back like on the 24th we first go to church and then come back then we sit as a small family exchange gifts exchanging gifts is something that i really love <laughs> because i receive so many because back home receiving gifts was just done by the, like the kids but here even if you're old or anything like that they exchange gifts so it's not done by everyone like i always say in my videos it's not like the whole german does that no it's like individually but i'm just saying the the majority yeah the majority <laughs> the majority so the food van action fred's yen lip hogan they always have so many christmas foods this is one thing that i really love because i love cookies not chocolates <laughs> so they always have so many nice food and on the christmas day they usually have like um a duck with uh red cabbage so to say to make you understand and then with some sauce i'm going to leave some pictures here this is what they usually have for christmas and they usually have it with warm it's like christmas it's a warm period because it's also in winter so it really makes sense that they have all such things so if i missed anything or rather there's something that i didn't mention correctly please come into the comment section let me know let me also learn from you guys and if you like anything about the german christmas please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up i'll be so grateful and if you've not yet subscribed please subscribe guys subscribe 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 I wish you a merry christmas and a prosperous 2022 Woo! yes i'm moving yeah bye <laughs>